So you're a wedding photographer. Maybe you're trying to improve your wedding photography and begin to start booking your ideal clients. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best and quickest way that you can build your wedding portfolio by setting up styled photo shoots for free. Let's get into it. Tip number one, create a vision board. You want to know what type of clients you're trying to attract and what style that you're going for. Are you trying to find clients that have more classic weddings, rustic, boho? Figure out what you want to do, create a style inspiration, and you can do so by easily looking on Instagram, looking up on Pinterest and getting ideas together and getting a vision board together. That is going to be your first step is figure out exactly what type of style of wedding photography that you're trying to improve. Now that you have your vision board, now that you have inspiration, is you have to figure out where is your location going to be. Are you going to do the styled shoot at a venue or are you going to do it somewhere outdoors at a specific location? When I first started, I wanted to keep it simple because to organize an entire uh, wedding style shoot can take up a lot of time. There's a lot of vendors involved. And so I started by just having my models, having my bouquet, having my dress and doing a really epic location outdoors that would grab attention. Now, after you do a few of these shoots, you can go ahead and try to set something up bigger with your future shoots. Who are you going to be doing the styled collaboration with? The best way to find models is through social media. I use Instagram and I usually look through hashtags. I look through um, anybody that's following me, maybe I'm following them and I'm looking at couples that are already engaged. Those are the best couples to set up a style shoot because for one they're engaged they're probably going to be looking for their wedding photographer and that's a great way to build a relationship with them once you find your models then you want to go ahead and contact the models and ask them if they are willing to collaborate on a styled photo shoot when you contact your models make sure that you also send them your vision board and maybe even get ideas from them. When I contacted my model from Florida, she had done previously styled shoots and so she already had, you know, a makeup artist that she knew. She already um, knew of bridal shops where she can rent out dresses and that really, really helped plan the styled shoot. And this particular photo shoot, I was visiting Florida and so I found a couple in Florida and I collaborated with them. I wanted more beachy vibes and I just wanted a very boho-y, beachy kind of look. So we picked a location also where there was a lot of greens, just very beautiful scenery, very beautiful views to give it a little bit more of an elegant look. And then in the end, I took later on, I took my couple to the beach and we decided to do some golden hour photos there which was amazing golden hour is my favorite it was just like the perfect vibe and we were able to get a beach that was a little bit more private where there wasn't a lot of people and it was just so much fun we had such a fun day all collaborating and working together fourth step is you want to go ahead and contact the vendors so you absolutely need a florist you cannot have a styled shoot without a bouquet and so I contacted a florist you know in Tampa Florida and this particular florist makes dry bouquets and so I just contacted him I said you know I'm trying to do a collaboration are you willing to collaborate and so this florist was able to give me a bouquet for free that I rented out for the day and then I returned it the next day. These florals were stunning. Make sure you contact a bridal shops through email. Let them know what you're trying to do. Let them know that you're trying to collaborate and 
you know, all these vendors, they're going to get all the photos that you took in order for them to use it for their social media, their websites and things like that. So with this particular style shoot, my model actually worked at a bridal shop. So she was just able to find a dress and I gave her, gave her my style ideas. I told her I wanted something very boho. And so she was able to find something like that in her shop and we used it. And finally, after you're done getting your photos, you wanna edit them and then go ahead and start promoting. You know, get them on your social media, get them on your website, tag all the vendors, let those vendors post all the photos. When I started out in photography, I really wanted to grow my wedding business very quickly. And so the way that I did it is I kept setting up these styled shoots at literally no cost. If I ever did have expenses, it was very like minimal type of stuff. It will cost the florist to get the florals. And then you may have to pitch in a little bit just to pay for the cost but they make them for free. So just keep that in mind that sometimes there is costs, but you can really make a, make up a styled shoot at literally no cost. Most of mine were for free, and that was a way for me to build up my portfolio and to get especially my ideal client. I noticed that if I was posting more, let's say boho styled shoots, I was getting clients that had boho weddings and that's what I was looking for. So post what you want to book. So if this video was helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.